Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I said in my last video, I was going to do a couple unboxing videos. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff that I have purchased in the last several weeks. One of my Bath and Body Works orders I did, I, it has been sitting here for about a month. Um, but I have really good stuff in there and so I wanted to film it before I opened all my goodies up. So I'm just going to jump right in because we do have quite a bit of stuff and I'm going to try to keep this video not too lengthy, but it could get pretty lengthy considering how much stuff I have. So the first thing I have is my Bath and Body Works. Like I said, I love Bath and Body Works. That's where all, I get all my candles, all my um, wallflowers, and even my some of my body sprays. I just, I just love them. I always go crazy especially during semi-annual or if they have big sales. So I needed to restock up on their wallflowers. So, cause I was completely out and needed some more. So I definitely stocked up. So I got some new scents and the first scent that I purchased was the sugar, sugared snicker doodle. And it looks like this guy and it smells so good. It definitely smells like a snickerdoodle and it has that sweet, warm fall, winter, feels like holidays and I love it. I, I love those kind of scents. So this one is the sea salt and lime and it looks like that. And this one I got for more of my bathrooms or my laundry room. I like them to be more of a fresher scent than your warm and your sweeter scents like cinnamon things like that so i do like the fresher scents for my bathrooms and my laundry room the next one i got is the frosted coconut snowball and i can kind of smell it through the packaging but it does smell really good i love coconut i'm not a huge fan on the taste it kind of depends on what it is but as far as smell wise coconut's probably one of my favorites favorite scents and looks like that it just has a blue uh, color in there and I'm really really excited to try that one out I'm going to probably put that in first one so the next one is a cinnamon caramel sm caramel swirl and just a kind of a clear color but it definitely has that caramely smell to it again another just fall holiday scent love having those so one thing I love about their wallflowers is they always do a mix and match. And so I definitely stocked up and did some mix and matches. These were really nice because these are scents that I do really love and they come in a two pack. And these are the pumpkin pecan waffles. And these smell so amazing. Like uh, who doesn't love waffles? And I don't really like pecan, but the smell of it is absolutely amazing. So I'm glad I got a two pack in those. Um, again, coconut is my, that's my go-to. And I do love vanilla, just love the warmth together and it smells so good. So one of my favorite, all time favorite candles and I've stocked up. I finally just ran out of my marshmallow fireside, but I think Jaclyn Hill talked about this candle and I was like, I'm gonna check it out. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, it is probably one of my favorite all time scents besides coconut. It is amazing. So I got a two pack in that and I also got candles as well in the marshmallow fireside. And I think, I don't know if they changed something about the form, whether it was the formula, the scent, something or the packaging, but they did, the packaging is different uh, this year, I noticed, but it still smells the same to me. It is amazing. And so my last wallflower I did buy is blueberry sugar and it looks like that. So I actually want to say those two packs were a different deal and then it was five for 24 or something like that. And then the two packs had their own um, purchasing deal. So I think that's why I went that route. So the next things that I had purchased from Bath and Body Works is some candles. I didn't get their three wicks. Sometimes they'll do sales, but 
Bath and Body Works can be kind of expensive when it comes to their candles, but they had a really good deal on these candles. And there were some candles I wanted to try out. And it's nicer to have the smaller jars rather than the big three wick. And I think these are just a single. Yeah. So this is a blueberry maple pancakes. And oh my gosh, does it smell so good. It makes you want to like, makes your stomach growl. It is amazing. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell because oh, it's, it's amazing. Definitely recommend this candle. Um, the next one I got in here is hot cocoa cream. So like I said, I go for the holiday, you know, sweet and some of them are more the warmer, but I definitely love that. Like caramels and blueberries and just very warm, make you feel nice and cozy and you just want to curl up on the couch and just want to eat and it smells like a holiday. This is amazing. This is the uh, hot cocoa and cream. Very cute packaging. All of Bath and Body Works candles have very cute packaging. I do love their candles, very sleek. And uh, that one smells really good. It has a very strong, like chocolatey scent. So if you don't really like it overpowering, that one might be a little bit, but it does smell good. So like I said, they did change the packaging to the Marshmallow Fireside. That's what it looks like. But as far as I could smell with those wallflowers, they didn't seem to change. It might actually on this have a different scent. So this is dark. The candle is like a gray color and it never has been. It almost smells like it's darker. And I felt like the old one used to be a little bit sweeter, but I think it'll still be good. It still smells good. I did notice, like I said, they changed it. And then the last one, Super cute packaging. Love this. And even though Halloween's over, I seriously think I bought this like before Halloween, but I have been meaning to do a uh, unboxing video and clearly it's taken me a long time. And this is white pumpkin. That one smells good. It, it definitely has a distinctive smell. It's strong and, but it smells, it's gonna burn really nice and smell really warm. So that is all that I got for Bath and Body Works. I'm very excited to use these and have my house just smelling amazing. So the next two things I will go through pretty quickly and then we'll go to my ColourPop because that's going to be the bigger one. Um, and so these ones, I am subscribed with Ipsy. I do an Ipsy monthly subscription. I just do their 12 12 pack. I used to do them a long time ago. I haven't and I started back in and they've definitely changed a lot on their website, but I love what they've done that you can actually do add-ons. So, uh, which gets me in trouble because I'm like, Oh, I want to try this. I want to try that. So this is my add-on. This isn't my monthly, but I got some, uh, different products and I went with their Dose Frumatic Blush. Um, I didn't expect them to be this little of packaging, but almost it's better because, you know, if I didn't like it, I could try it out. And it, I think they were like three bucks. So it was just like quick little add-ons that you could just add to your uh, subscription for the month. And it's just a uh, cardboard box packaging and very pretty. It's almost like a peachy color with gold very cute uh with the oh it's really really pretty so it swatches like that so it definitely is like a peachy undertone um and very soft i think that will be gorgeous on my skin love that and i've been wanting to try dose i think that's how you pronounce it i've been wanting to try their products so the next one i did was a baked highlighter powder and it's from a state I've never heard of the uh, company to be honest, but I wanted to try it and their packaging is really cute. The, I haven't done many baked highlighters. I've had baked eyeshadows from e.l.f. and I've done them and I've noticed that like you wet them and it, they work better, but I went with more of a goldy color. It's a, this color is in lit and do me lit and it looks like that. 
this is the pack packaging is really cute and I like that it is a pretty big uh, packaging so I'm going to swatch that one gorgeous highlighter very bright and it comes on like a dream so I think this will be a good one because I like to do a lot of golds and I, when I do gold uh, eyeshadow or browns I like to have a gold highlighter have some gold in there so it's like a ye yellowy goldish color so it'll be again another one that'll be so pretty on my skin tone so I got a couple other things and they individually put them in packaging, which I love their packaging. It's so cute. So I think I said in my first video that my lips have just been super chapped. I went with Per Lips, and it's the Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. Just has that little guy in there. And then the other one I went with is Hanali. Hanali? I hope I said that right. And this one is lip, a lip treatment and it's in mauve pink. I was going to try. So it has like a little bit of the, it does have a cover on it. And I was just going to try it. I do have lipstick on too right now. So. Mm. Well, one, it tastes really good. <laughs> Not that you probably should eat it, but it does taste good. And it's really smooth. So I think it will help nourish them back the way they need to be because they are definitely um, very chapped. And then I think this is gonna be, oh, this is so soft. Oh, I just got lipstick all over that, but that'll be okay. Oh man, that is so soft. Yeah, that's a good one. So those were some good ones that I needed for sure. Some must-haves. So as I said, it is just dry central up in here. The next thing I got in another individual packaging was the Ibby Radiant Glow Highlighter. And I have heard about this company uh, or this brand I've personally not used them, but I have heard of them. And this is going to be another radiant or another highlighter. I needed a couple new highlighters because I honestly have just been using my eyeshadows. And this is gorgeous. This is in Processo. And oh my gosh, it is so pretty, so stunning. Definitely a champagne color. So pretty and again goes on like a dream the consistency is amazing I have heard good things about this brand so I'm super excited and it is a gorgeous champagne color and I love champagne colors I love them for the highlight inner uh, corner of my eye love and I've been wanting to tar try tart blushes forever since they've been around with their clay brush or blushes I've heard they're absolutely amazing so I did get one of their clay blushes and it is in the color Kisses and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love Tarte packaging. Their stuff is amazing and I think this will be a gorgeous color. So it looks like that. I think it'll be great for the apples of my cheeks. So I'm really excited. Like I said, I've been wanting to try their um, blushes forever. So I'm very excited. And as for Ipsy, that is it that I got. So very exciting little product. And like I said, it's awesome that Ipsy offers those uh, add-ons and I just have been loving their stuff. A couple things I picked up today that I've been needing is some shoes. I got uh, Adidas. I have, I'm usually a Nike girl. I love my Nikes, but I seriously have the worst luck with shoes because I have really small feet. I wear a six in women, sometimes a five and a half, depending on what the shoe is. I can fit in a kid's shoes. Last night we actually went bowling and I asked for a four and a half and the guy looked at, they were a kid size and the guy looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, and they fit perfect. One thing great about having small feet is that you can wear kids shoes, so it's cheaper. So I did get one in a youth, actually it was a boys, but these ones I got in women's and they are six and I've been wanting a pair of white shoes. I've been working out more and doing classes and so I needed some new workout shoes. 
so cute. I love, even though they're white and white gets dirty, I just love the look of the white shoes. They're so clean, just beautiful. And I do like this. I know a gal that has Adidas and she says she loves her. So, and I was not having any luck finding any Nikes. Nike's just been really hard and I am so picky about the style, how they look. Like I like that lightweight, cute, petite look and it is so hard, especially in my size. I have had such a hard time finding my size and what I exactly want. Shoes I'm very picky about. I have a certain look. So the next thing I got, I've been wanting to get a pair for so long and I finally did because I've tried them once and I hated the way they looked on my feet. And so I tried it again and I found these. I've been wanting to get a pair of Vans. I've, I wear my Chucks and I love my Chuck Taylors. I wear the little white ones, the ones that don't lace and I love them, but I was like, I wanna try something different and I'm going to Oklahoma soon. So I wanted some white shoes so I could wear a white t-shirt with them and I got these. These are boys, I wanna say fours. And yes, these are a boys four. Love these. They have a checkered pattern on them and they are so cute. I did try their lace up ones today and I hate them on my feet, but these ones look so cute. And I like that they weren't just a plain white. I liked that they had a pattern, but some of their uh, other ones, I was like, oh, they're a little crazy, but love these. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm definitely ready to wear those and I've heard they are so comfy so I'm excited to break those in so those were just a few add-ons that I wanted to put in my video because I was excited about shoes and what girl isn't excited so the big one is the color pop I have been watching a lot of color pop videos so I did I just went kind of crazy and I picked up quite a few palettes and just like I said, I went a little crazy and we're just going to jump right into all the products and it is so nice. They bubble wrap everything. They, it's just nice to get products and that it's not just thrown in a box and it's all individually wrapped. And like I said, I got quite a few palettes and some lipsticks that came with it. They have, I think, I'm not sure. I haven't been on their website since, but when I did purchase it, it was a huge sale. I want to say it was like 30% off or 40 when I got it. So that's why I went a little crazy as well. And I did a lot of reviews before to see which ones people recommended. And I um, wanted to see before I jumped on and just bought. And I asked a girl that I knew personally that had posted that she bought some color pops and how the eyeshadow swatch and everything. So I am excited though. And I definitely will be doing some tutorials for these. So when I bought my color pops, they came in some sets. So they came with a, two lipsticks and two blushes and they're just uh, some, they're the luxe glosses. They're not lipsticks. And the first one that I got was the Grand War and it is beautiful packaging. Like a on the packaging love it and this is what the colors look like and when I do my makeup tutorials I'm actually going to do reviews on all of this so I'm probably not going to swatch any of these to be honest right now but I will upload videos with swatches reviews everything how they blend out so you can actually get an in-depth. I just wanted to show you me unboxing them and how they looked and what my thoughts were on initially opening them up. So colors are absolutely stunning. I love these colors. These ones are definitely out of my comfort zone, but I love that color. It is so cool. It has a blue sheen to it, lavendery color. And I can't even explain it. It is so beautiful though. And I'm, I really do want to try it. And then this one, I think will be really pretty for an under eye. And as far as the other ones, those are up in my alley and I love those. But the need color, I think that one's going to be a fun one to play with. And it's nice because they do put that little plastic covering on them. They are like a cardboard, I want to say, uh, packaging. But packaging, oh my gosh, so cute. So the colors that came with those are going to be um, Lust is one of them. 
And like I said, these are actually glosses, not a lipstick. Super cute. I'm not a huge gloss fan to be honest. To be honest, I'm not, but I will give it a whirl. It's like a goldy color. It is really pretty. I do like this color and it, uh, I think it'll be super pretty. It has some gold flakes in it and then just kind of that tan. So I think this would be a great everyday color if you want to just go on the run. Next color is going to be in La Birch. I hope I said that right. And it is going to be more of a mauve color. And I really do like this. This almost looks like, to me, the consistency of this looks like a liquid lipstick. So I am excited about that. I don't wear a ton of mauves. It kind of, I go through a phase, but I do want, I like the mauve color on that one. I like that it's more of a darky color, not like that purpley undertone. And then the last thing for that set is going to be their blush. And it looks like they actually came with two blushes on this set. And this is a beautiful corally color. I think it'll look great with the looks in there that you can use and love the flower in that. I love that imprint. I just think with little details like that and the packaging, it's like A plus. So love those. And then the next one, oh, it looks like the names. So that one was called Chase. And then this one is going to be their palatal palatal different names for sure and this is more of a dark color um I really like this one this one's gonna be so pretty as well on my skin tone and this one's gonna be like a dark rosy color very beautiful I need something like that uh, as far as a blush so I love the set beautiful I am so excited to use them and we like I said I will be doing makeup tutorials for all of these palettes and swatches and reviews so don't worry about me not swatching them I know it's kind of a bummer but I'm just trying to get through this video without it being literally an hour long so the next one that I picked up for palette that came with two glosses it did not come with any blushes that one did not but it did come with two glosses and those ones are going to be this one is the ornament and so it's going to be another darker folly color because i mean that's just who i am i like my reds my and this is absolutely stunning too i am so excited dream is beautiful another really dark color and something i don't and that's going to be that color something i don't usually play with but it is so pretty it's got like the pinks and the purples blended in very well and I think it'll be so fun as far as the other colors right up my alley again and I am so excited to use that one so looking forward to using those palettes now the glosses that came with this one is in renaissance this one actually is a true mauve with the purple undertone and this one's called in Ignu. Next thing I am going to go in with is my last palette, eyeshadow palette. I did get a glitter, uh, pressed glitters, and um, I will go over those as well. But as far as just eyeshadows, I of course had to get a nude palette because that is, that's who I am. I love my nudes and I love the name. It's called Nude Mood because that just describes me love it is beautiful it there are some similar colors in the other palettes i got but i definitely love those and i love every color that's in here and i know i will be using this and i'm excited for the size i actually didn't go for a bigger palette because i will be traveling and it is like i said or on one of my videos so much easier to travel with smaller little compact sizes and these ones I definitely will be using and taking I think over the holiday I will use because they have perfect colors for holidays and I am excited to uh, jump in with those and do a makeup tutorial on them so as I said earlier I did get some glitters I love doing glitter uh, in the corner I've not worked with this kind of glitter, but I am definitely excited to use them. And they are 
the small palette, all that glitters, and the packaging, of course, ColourPop outdid themselves. So cute. But um, can we talk about these glitters? Like, how amazing are they? They are so amazing. I am so excited to play with them because I haven't played with this kind of glitter. So I just am so excited to use them. And I mean, that's all I have to say about it because it's pretty exciting. So another thing, I am obsessed with freckles. I love freckles. I wish I had freckles. Like, and it's just, you know, every girl wants the girl that has curly hair wants straight hair or the girl that has straight hair wants curly hair. Well, I've always wanted freckles, not a ton of them. I just think they're so cute. So I've been watching a gal on my YouTube channel. I apologize. I cannot remember her name, but she does like cutest freckles. And she was talking about this ColourPop freckle pen. So I wanted to try it out, just mess around. And it just looks like that. And it is a felt tip. So it'll be nice to just kind of you know, dot them on and I think it'll be fine to you. So I will be using this in my ColourPop tutorial uh, review and we'll see what happens. I'm, I've am i never done fake freckles, but I'm excited because I said, I've always wanted to have freckles. I use the Snapchat filters that have freckles and I'm like, oh yeah, so cute. <laughs> so last two things that I got from ColourPop before I jump off, um, I hope you guys are still with me because Lots to talk about today is the Pretty Fresh. Again, hydrating is a must with me. And this is the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. And Hyaluronic helps with um, dehydration. And so I have heard good things about it. it. looks like that. And I might as well just try it right now. But I have heard this. If you have dehydrated skin it's great for it and it doesn't make your makeup super dewy but it doesn't make it very also matte it's like kind of a perfect mix so uh spray wise let's see here oh it has a perfect oh my gosh and it does smell good I did hear that on the review as well I love that it doesn't have a heavy spray because like I said with that elf primer mist that I got that one like hits you in the face like you better be prepared but this one has a perfect spray so i'm just gonna spray it mm. oh my gosh that smells so good and it's lightweight i love that so i am excited to see how it feels so far it feels really good it feels lightweight and i think it'll be a good setting spray because i have definitely needed some more hydration in my life the next thing i got with their line is the hyaluronic hydrating foundation and it looks like this the color does look really dark so i'm kind of nervous about that but if i have to i can lighten it up it looks like kind of a cocoa-y color it is medium 95n that's the only thing i've never used color pop foundation actually this first time i've used color pop at all so um we'll see how as far as color wise i might be off on match but um I have heard really, really good stuff about this foundation. So I'm excited to try all these products. I'm so excited to do a review, do some swatches. Let's do some fun makeup looks. And I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been receiving the last several months. And I've kind of been just like stocking up and yeah, I need to just get off the internet because I've been shopping too much, but that's okay. So I'm excited to try these new products and I'm excited for my house to smell good and I love my shoes. So I appreciate you watching and I will be back for some more tutorials and we'll do some sit downs and we'll chit chat. So if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and hit the like button down below and the thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.